And you are now rockin' with the best Educated melanin, she beautiful and blessed Really one of them, but she ain't nothing like the rest I'm talking queen vibes, wifey in the G, ain't nothing less Why you so good to me, baby, that's the question You look so good to me, you never got a question They love it how we do it, how we pull up, we be flexing They ain't gotta like it, but oh yes, they don't respect it She know she got it, if I got it, we ain't stressing I know you here forever, sorry to the next chick This one for the fine women, show me how you stepping Hey guys, welcome back, Mang Dior, LTAI. In today's topic, I want to talk about renormalizing certain stuff that society kind of messed up, you know? And when I say by they kind of messed up, it's because social media, like there's mad quotes and memes and opinions that just got everybody in a frenzy and they just feel like they have to move accordingly and they can't be themselves or they can't wear what they like or they can't do what they like because other people said. It's weird, you know? I want everybody to be themselves and I want everybody to renormalize what was once normal, but now it's titled weird because of social media. So I got a list right here. The first thing I wanna start with is thinking that you're ugly because you have braids. Now, none of this is personal for me. Everything that I talk about has nothing to do with me. It's just society. And this is just what I see and what I think is going on so i once seen a girl she got braids for her birthday and they clowned her and i did not see what was the problem with that right when i tell you that got to a lot of people heads like you would see people like oh i can't wear braids unless my face is beat or <laughs> i'm not gonna lie that's me i need my face beat when i have braids but that's just a personal thing like that's just me like that's literally how i feel but like a lot of people feel like when they have braids in they're not given but when they have a frontal in it's like given given frontals is beautiful not gonna lie but braids is beautiful too like why can't braids have the same type of hypeness that frontals have you know why does society make people feel like they're ugly with braids we normalize that braids is beautiful like we invented braids if you want to keep it about like us black people that's our thing so if you feel like you look ugly with the braids in do you think it's because everybody else has a frontal? Like, tell me what it is. Like, what what is it? I don't know what it is. So yeah, I just feel like society made certain people feel like they're ugly with braids. And I'm just here to tell you, you're not ugly with braids. Braids is beautiful. Like, braids, we all know this though, you know? So that was number one thing. So this is another one. Thinking you're ugly because you don't know how to take pictures. A simple pose, sitting like this, being yourself, is a picture. Just because you see people on Instagram doing all these different types of poses does not mean that you have to do those poses too to feel like you're pretty. Like a simple picture or a picture in the moment. I spoke about this in my Cali vlog. A picture in the moment is worth more than a picture that you literally worked hard to get. Like you're literally posing and you don't even feel comfortable with this pose that you're making. Your face doesn't even go with the pose because you're uncomfortable and we can peep that you're uncomfortable. I think y'all doing too much. Y'all do not have to do too much to, to fit. Like you can literally be yourself. That's why we're put on this earth. Everybody is unique. Not everybody is the same. You should know that. So the fact that you're trying to be like somebody else is just insane to me. If you don't know how to take, there's no such, first off, there's no such thing as you don't know how to take pictures. It's very simple. You know why you keep saying you don't know how to take pictures? Because you want to perfect something or you want to perfect your pose. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. I want everybody to go back to being the like regular. It's okay to be basic. And the word basic then got messed up so bad that if you call yourself basic or if you call somebody basic, it's offensive. It's not offensive, like I'm basic. And I'm gonna say that out loud, like I'm basic. I'm very basic and I'm not saying it's just for the video, like I really am. <laughs> but yeah, that was the second one. Thinking that you're ugly because you don't know how to take pictures. Pictures is pictures. You do not have to perfect it. Just be yourself, it's very simple. So I feel like this is, mm, I don't know, because a lot of girls wear lashes, so I'm gonna just say this anyway. And I'm talking about extensions, not the strips. Even, I mean, I could talk about both of them, but yeah, I'm not trying to come at nobody. I'm just speaking. You do not need lashes to be pretty. To the girls that get lashes, do as you please. But for the ones that think that they need it, like it's an everyday thing, 
that they came out the womb with it, you do not come out the womb with it. Mascara is still a thing. Mascara is still a thing. Like, it's okay. Like, I'm just trying to tell y'all, like, these are stuff that was normal. It was normal to not wear lashes. It was normal to not know how to pose like an IG person and just be regular in a picture, you know? Like, that was normal. It's not normal no more. Why? Because society and opinions is making people think. It's messing up your brain, you know? Like, you're kind of getting brainwashed right now, being on social media and seeing everybody's opinions. It's messing up your head. It's making you think that certain stuff is not normal when it is, so I'm here to tell you, it's normal. It's okay to, to not have your lashes done every month. I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know how y'all be paying all these 120, 150, 140 for lashes all the time, and the, the sets is just falling off. I don't know how y'all do it, but you know, to each his own. Do as you please, do as you please. Do as you please like I can't stress it enough I'm not coming at nobody do as you please but yes it is very normal to go outside and look like yourself and still be beautiful because that's how you came out the womb this is how God made you you know like always keep that in your head like this is how he made me this is just a personal thing that I'm gonna say I don't ever want to change anything about myself because I just find it so amazing and so wavy that God was like this is how I want her to look or I want her to have this, or I want her to have that. My toes, my pinky toe all the way down there. I want her to have her pinky toe all the way down there. I ain't gonna change it, thank you. If you think that's right for me, thank you, feel me? That's just me though. Another one, and this one resonates with me because um, it plays a big role in my life when I first started you know, doing my makeup and stuff. Going outside with a full B face, like every time you go out with your friends or every time you go out with anybody, you're going out to eat, you're going to a party, going anywhere, you feel like you need to beat your face. Certain events in certain places, yes, it's. I feel like you need to beat your face, yeah. But not all the time. For me, I used to always beat my face, even though I knew that I didn't have to, but I just felt like since I was me and Dior, still is, <laughs> niggas that was, I am being so if I felt like, oh yeah, I have to wear my face all the time. Like I have to beat my face. If people see me, they have to see me with my face beat. Who is y'all for me to please? <laughs> like, I wish I could have told this to 17 year old me. Like you do not have to be everywhere with your face beat. Like you do not have to do that. We are gonna renormalize that. It's okay to not have a beat face. Shout out to my natural girls. Shout out to makeup artists too. Shout out to the people that want to beat their face. But I'm just saying like, don't ever feel like you have to, you know? You don't have to. Like, I just want everybody to be confident in themselves. You don't have to go outside all the time with your face beat. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I feel like, yo, society, if you really think about it, almost everything that I named society messed up a lot of stuff that's just not normal no more, or people don't consider normal. The point of this video, I just want everybody to realize certain stuff that we do or how we maneuver, it got messed up. It was never a real thing. You know and we have to unlearn these things and go back to being our natural self like one thing about me if i want lashes or i got somewhere to go or i got a trip i'm gonna get my lashes done but if i'm if i got a whole month of me working at my job i'm not gonna do my lashes for that whole month you know but then again or if you put on lashes for yourself do as you please everything that i named this video is basically for the people that feel like it's not normal anymore. And I'm just here to tell you, it is normal. Like people still do certain stuff like this. People still stand still and cheese for a picture. You know, they don't have to look online and look for an IG pose or, you know, you don't have to do too much. I don't want everybody, I don't want anybody to ever feel like they have to do too much. And I'm so happy that I've reached this point in life that I feel like I'm never gonna do too much. Like if I go to the Met Gala, yeah, I said the Met Gala. <laughs> If I go to the Met Gala, I'm gonna have a simple black dress on. Why? Cause who am I to put on something exotic for you when I don't even feel like wearing that, you know? Just do everything for yourself. Make sure that you're not seeking acknowledgement from other people. Yeah, that was the point of this video. Renormalize things that society messed up. I hope this video resonates with the people that it's supposed to. <laughs> and if you feel any type of way, talk in the comments, I will, I will reply. And yeah, like I just felt like that had to be said. And thank you so much for tuning into LTAI. More videos will be coming soon. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love you guys so much. So that's the end of this video. Bye guys.